In this video, I'm going to share with you the common types of meeting room setups. You ready? Let's go. Welcome, I'm Malachi Simmons Jr. and this is Hotel Soldier, with a mission to provide you all things hotel to your front lines. On this channel, I give you the three eyes with information, instructions, and interviews. Information with all things in the hotel industry, instructions on various tasks in the hotel industry, and interviews with individuals associated with the hotel industry. Now, if you're new to Hotel Soldier and you want to see this video and other videos like this video, hit on the red subscribe button at the bottom, along with the notification bell for Hotel Soldier. Many guests visit hotels to use certain spaces for special events. Now these special event spaces can be set up in various types of ways. Now in this video, I'm going to refer to these special event spaces as meeting rooms. Now let me show you some common types of meeting room setups. Let me show you one common type of meeting room setups. Let me set one up for you. This particular type of meeting room setup is called the horseshoe or the U shape. It's usually used for focus groups or group discussions. Usually the person that leads the meeting is at the far end of the table. Also, it gives other individuals the opportunity to walk the middle of the aisle and take the floor. Let me show you another one. This particular type of room setup is called the boardroom or the conference. Usually used for scheduled meetings, unscheduled meetings, and discussions. Usually the individual that leads the meeting is on the far end of the table. Also, they may have a chair on this side for a designated individual or designated position. Also, it gives the individuals of the meeting an opportunity to get up and actually walk around the table to observe the meeting. Let me show you another one. This particular type of meeting room setup is called the square of the halo. It's usually a more participative style of setup. Now the person usually leading the meeting is usually at the far end of the table. Also, it gives the opportunity to individuals of the meeting to interact more with each other. Let me show you another one.
This particular type of meeting room setup is called a classroom, no center out, with a podium. Usually it's used for presentations and lectures. It puts the focus on the speaker near the front of the room. Now the speaker can walk around the classroom to observe the class. Let me show you another classroom setup with the center out. This particular type of style of meeting room setup is called a classroom with a center aisle and a podium. Still used for presentations and lectures. Now the speaker is still at the front of the classroom. It gives an opportunity for the speaker and individuals of the classroom to actually walk down the center aisle. Let me show you another one with a different feature other than the podium. This is another type of meeting room setup. This is classroom with an aisle with two easels. You still can do presentations and also lectures. This gives the opportunity for the speaker to use both sides. Also, individuals in the classroom can get up and also use both sides. Now, I'm gonna show you another type of classroom with an aisle instead of using the two easels. This is another type of meter room setup, which is classroom with a knob using the screen. Now, this is good for giving presentations. I'm gonna show you another type of setup using the screen. This is another type of meeting room setup. It's called theater. It's good for giving presentations. The reason why you have an audience, a screen, and possibly a speaker. Let me show you two more different types of meeting room setups. This particular type of meeting room setup is called round table. You have round tables with chairs around each one. It is good for working groups. You may also have a speaker. Now I'm gonna show you one more type of meeting room setups. This particular type of meeting room setup is called a lounge or the banquet setup. It's particularly used for social events, receptions, even war ceremonies. Now you may have a position for the speaker, which is at the front, and you may have one or two head tables. And those are your common meeting room setups. Now the meeting room setup is dictated by the event that the guests have it, and those were the common types of meeting room setups. 
Now make sure to click on the like button and leave a comment. And if you want to see this video and other videos like this video, click on the red subscribe button at the bottom along with the notification bell for Hotel Soldier, where the missions provide you all things hotel to your front lines.